Welcome to match four. I am on the draw. This hand is fine. And uh, special bragging rights. This is my 1500th game in comp leagues. Or le uh, 1500th match in comp leagues on Magic Online with Affinity. So, yeah. Climbing that tower of ridiculously large numbers of games played. Uh, did I screw this up? Yeah. Shoot. That was a mistake. I really should have played Citadel there. I'm not sure how much it's actually going to matter. It'll matter if I draw one drop next turn. Alright, did not matter. I am flooding pretty hard, though. This is a matchup where I do wish I had more Galvanic Blasts. Um, really need some kind of large threat, Cranial Plating, or Master, basically. If his hand is not horrible, then he's going to start going off this turn with Heritage Druid. And I will probably be too slow. Like, this clock is five a turn. Uh, I will be dead long before he is. If he has, like, Arc Druid here. Or Dwinin's Elite. Ooh, Copperline Gorge, that's interesting. Bloodbraid Elf? No, basic lands are mountains. Alright, um, I don't even have attacks here, because if I attack, I just trade really, really unprofitably. start getting in for some damage, because I still have a master back to block. Is this just like a cord for f cord for Azuri? Attack for super lethal with Azuri? Cord for Arcturid. Still. Witness for Cord, Cord for Izuri, can he, he can activate it. He might not have enough damage to do actual lethal to me. In which case, if I draw Cranial Plating, and he's tapped out all of his creatures, which he can't because E-Witness will be untapped, I think I'm just dead. Overruns. Yeah, I'm not actually dead. Unfortunately, I cannot... I can't... 
kill the Magus. Like the Magus, killing the Magus might have actually given me enough damage to kill him if I drew a cranial plating, but I can't kill it because then I'd die. And now I draw just garbage and die. Alright, well. Out with the etched champions, bring in grids, whip flares, galvanic blasts, and thought seizes. Take out bowmat couriers, take out welding jar. I feel like there's a very low probability of Kataki. Which is nice. It's weird, I wanna say he has Bloodbird Elf because he's playing red in elves. But at the same time he's got quarter calling and that's such a horrible Bloodbraid Elf cascade. I don't know. Either he's not playing Bread Elf Bloodbraid Elf or his deck doesn't seem super optimized. And he's just experimenting with stuff. Oh, that hand was just a little too slow. Drawing a couple spires on my first few draw steps was not what I needed. Play first. Yeah, this hand's good. Everything, Thoughtseize away, something nasty. Alright, so he has... Arcturid, Witness, Rex Sage. Honestly, just want to take the Lanwar Elves and run him over while he's being super slow. Hands, his hand's doing nothing without that land where else. Cranial plating was a nice draw. That was fast. You know, maybe I should have kept the welding jar considering the um, Rex Age. Um, come on. Mox Opals, please. Mox Opal thing. Yeah, got a thought season on turn one. Turn one thought season into stuff just makes me feel so safe inside. Like nothing can go too wrong. I've got a thought season. All right, he has Rex Age and some other garbage. All right, well, goodbye Rex Age. I mean, he can draw into stuff, but. His hand needs draws to work. Mine does not. Mine just needs to not have him draw stuff that kills me very soon. Of course, he does have the redraw off the Heritage Druid, but. or the Visionary, but. Yeah. Actually, gonna play the Overseer first. Because he will unlikely be getting thing. It's very unlikely that he's getting stuff out of whip flare range. But he will probably dump all the elves out of his hand next turn. Now I get punished if he's drawn like two arc druids or something. But if he hasn't then I just win. Witness for Rex Age. Play land, play Rex Age, kill my overseer. Alright. 
fine. Kill my overseer. I will kill everything you have. This is why I'm never really tempted to side whip flares out or take whip flares out of the sideboard because against the decks where whip flare is good, it's insane. <laughs> it's just absurdly brutal. And uh, I like that. I like that very much. Double Rack Sage definitely slows me down, but he's not getting the critical mass of elves that you need to kill me anytime soon. Galvanic Blast is basically being saved for Azuri or Arcturid, I think, at the moment. I'm not going to use it on random shitty tutus. He's also dead next turn. So that's a thing. Company, what does he hit? Got there and won my 1500. Well, Won the 1500th match that I've played in Comp Leagues. Yeah. Cool. See you for the fifth match.